remarkable characteristics are its ability to option a hibernation option b survive without air option c generate bioluminescence option d regenerate planaria's most remarkable characteristics are its ability to regenerate planaria's most remarkable characteristics are its ability to regenerate fusion of unrelated gametes is called option a dichogamy option b fertilization option c autogamy option d allogamy fusion of unrelated gametes is called allogamy fusion of unrelated gametes is called allogamy Bryophyllum digramontianum reproduces by option A vegetative propagation option B budding option C fission option D fragmentation Bryophyllum digramontianum reproduces by option A vegetative propagation Bryophyllum digramontianum reproduces by vegetative propagation When living tissue from a plant is extracted and placed in a medium it is called option a horticulture option b transplantation option c explant option d none of the above when living tissue from a plant is extracted and placed in a medium it is called explant when a living tissue from a plant is extracted and placed in a medium it is called explant budding in hydra is a form option a apoptosis option b sexual reproduction option c asexual reproduction option d none of the above budding in hydra is a form of asexual reproduction budding in a hydra is a form of asexual reproduction budding in hydra is a form of asexual reproduction dash is not a method of vegetative propagation option a grafting option b cutting option c lytic cycle option d layering dash is not a method of vegetative propagation answer option c lytic cycle lytic cycle is not a method of vegetative propagation lytic cycle is not a method of vegetative propagation dash refers to a sexual reproduction process wherein genetically identical copies of individual plants are produced option a layering option b binary fission option c clonal propagation option d none of the above dash refers to a asexual reproduction process wherein genetically identical copies of individual plants are produced answer is option c clonal propagation clonal propagation refers to an asexual reproduction process wherein genetically identical copies of individual plants are produced answer is clonal propagation shows totipotency option a xylem option b meristem option c coke option d all the above answer is option b meristem meristem shows totipotency meristem shows totipotency the property of an undifferentiated cell that has the potential to develop into an ender plant is called option a budding option b cloning option c subpotency option d totipotency the property of an undifferentiated cell that has the potential to develop into an ender plant is called totipotency the property of an undifferentiated cell that has the potential to develop into an ender plant is called totipotency the development of root and shoot in tissue culture is determined by option a temperature option b nutrients option c auxin and cytokinin ratio option d none of the above the development of root and shoot in tissue culture is determined by auxin and cytokinin ratio the development of root and shoot in tissue culture is determined by auxin and cytokinin ratio flowers with both androecium and gynoecium are called a bisexual flowers b anther c stamens d unisexual flowers flowers with both androecium and gynoecium are called bisexual flowers
Flowers with both antrisium and gynesium are called bisexual flowers. The transfer of pollen from the anther to stigma is called option A pollination, option B fertilization, option C adoption, option D diffusion. The transfer of pollen from the anther to stigma is called pollination. The transfer of pollen from the anther to stigma is called pollination. The fusion of female reproductive nucleus with the male reproductive nucleus is known as A. Adoption B. Excretion C. Fertilization D. Regeneration The fusion of female reproductive nucleus with the male reproductive nucleus is known as Fertilization The two nuclei at the end of the pollen tube are called Option A. Tube nucleus and Generative nucleus Option B. Sperm and ovum. Option C. Generative nucleus and stigma. Option D. Tube nucleus and sperm. The two nuclei at the end of the pollen tubes are called tube nucleus and generative nucleus. Tube nucleus and generative nucleus. Generative nucleus divides forming option A. Two male nuclei. Option B. Three male nuclei. Option C. Two female nuclei. Option D. Three female nuclei. Generative nucleus divides forming two male nuclei. Generative nucleus divides forming two male nuclei. Embryo sac is located inside the option A stigma, option B ovule, option C micropyle, option D style. Embryo sac is located inside the ovule. Embryo sac is located inside the ovule. One nucleus of the pollen tube and secondary nucleus of the ovum grow into stigma, endosperm and the stamen. One nucleus of the pollen tube and secondary nucleus of the ovum grow into endosperm. One nucleus of the pollen tube and secondary nucleus of the ovum grow into endosperm. The stalk of datura flower at its base is known as option A. Pedicel. Option B. Corolla. Option C. Sepals. Option D. Thalamus. The stalk of datura flower at its base is known as pedicel. The stalk of datura flower at its base is known as pedicel. The male reproductive parts of a flower, the stamens are correctly known as Option A. Andrisium. Option B. Filament. Option C. Anther. Option D. Gynesium. The male reproductive parts of a flower, the stamens are collectively known as andrisium. The male reproductive parts of a flower, the stamens are collectively known as andrisium. The other name for gynesium is option A pistil, option B stigma, option C andrisium, option D style. The other name for gynesium is pistil. The other name for gynesium is pistil. Functional megaspore in flowering plant develops into Option A. Endosperm Option B. Ovule Option C. Embryo sac Option D. Embryo Functional megaspore in flowering plants develops into Embryo sac Functional megaspore in flowering plant develops into Embryo sac Which of the following is similar to autogamy but requires pollinators? Option A. Gatenogamy Option B. Clistogamy Option C. Apogamy Option D. Xenogamy Which of the following is similar to autogamy but requires pollinators? Gatenogamy Which of the following is similar to autogamy but requires pollinators? It's Gatenogamy what is the function of the filiform apparatus? Option A. Guide the entry of pollen tubes. B. Recognize the suitable pollen at the stigma. C. Produce nectar. D. Stimulate division of the generative cell. What is the function of the filiform apparatus? Option A. Guide the entry of pollen tube. What is the function of the filiform apparatus? Guide the entry of pollen tubes. A mass of nutritive material outside the embryo sac is called Option A. Protoplasm 
ऑप्शन बी पेरी का ऑप्शन सी एक्टोडर्म ऑप्शन डी पेरी स्पर्म ए मास ऑफ न्यूट्रिटिव मेटीरियल आउटसाइड द एम्ब्रियो सैक इज कॉल्ड पेरी स्पर्म द मास ऑफ न्यूट्रिटिव मेटीरियल आउटसाइड द एम्ब्रियो सैक इज कॉल्ड पेरी स्पर्म विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट ऑप्शन ए स्पोरोजीनियस टिश्यू इज हैप्लोइड ऑप्शन बी द हार्ड आउटर लेयर ऑफ पॉलन इज कॉल्ड इंडेन ऑप्शन सी टेप्टम नरिशस द डेवलपिंग पॉलन ऑप्शन डी माइक्रोस्पोर्स आर प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय एंडोथीशियम व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट इज टेप्टम नरिशस द डेवलपिंग पॉलन टेप्टम नरिशस द डेवलपिंग पॉलन Which of the following fruit is produced by Parthenocarpi? Option A brinja, option B apple, option C banana, option D jackfruit. Which of the following fruit is produced by Parthenocarpi? Option C banana. The process of formation of seeds without fertilization in flowering plants is known as budding, apomixis, sporulation, somatic hybridization. The process of formation of seeds without fertilization in flowering plants is known as apomixis. The process of formation of seeds without fertilization in flowering plants is known as apomixis. Functional megaspore in an angiosperm develops into option A endosperm, option B embryo, option C embryo sac, option D ovule. Functional megaspore in an angiosperm develops into embryo sac. Functional megaspore in an angiosperm develops into embryo sac. Rewards and attractants are required for option A endomophily, option B clistogamy, option C anemophily, option D hydrophily. Rewards and attractants are required for endomophily. Rewards and attractants are required for endomophily. A dioecious flowering plant prevents option A gatenogamy and xenogamy, option B autogamy and xenogamy, option C autogamy and gatenogamy, option D clistogamy and xenogamy. A dioecious flowering plant prevents autogamy and gatenogamy. A dioecious flowering plant prevents autogamy and Gate no gummy.